Well, most people think of summer as a season to go check out some theme parks. The folks at Dollywood want you to come and have some family fun, even as the temperatures cool. The Harvest Festival combines food, music, and crafts to get people into the fall spirit. Artists from all across the country and from our area come to the park to display. Susan Nacito is from Churchill and brought her corn husk angels to show and sell. I make the head first and then I make the arms and then I make the bodice and then I make the skirt. While this is Susan's first year, other artists have been coming to Dollywood for many years. If you can tell, it's, it's oh, okay. homemade. Ralph takes typical silverware and transforms it into a magnificent piece of art. And I use a, a brass rod and a hammer to, to form the hearts. The music, food, and crafts alone are enough for an entire day of fun, but Dollywood is always looking to add more. New this year at Dollywood is Great Pumpkin Luminites, which transforms the park once the sun goes down into a festive celebration. We wanted to give our guests something different, and, and we he heard from a lot of them that they want us to stay open late at night and more often during the Harvest Festival. More than 7,500 pumpkins transformed the Timber Canyon section of the park into a Halloween spectacular. So how does a pumpkin like this turn into this? First thing that I do is sketch out the design loosely and then using that as a guide, start plotting out the areas that I'm not gonna carve and then plot out the areas that I am gonna carve and start carving and going a little deeper into places that I want more light to pass through. If you want to visit, the Harvest and Pumpkin Fun will continue daily through October 28th. This is a family-friendly, fun, we'll say, we'll say spooky event, but it's not scary, so even the smallest kids can enjoy this. On a weekend drive in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, meteorologist Ricky Matthews, News 5, WCYB.